Field of nine three-year-olds. In motion for the seventh race, $50,000 third elimination for the Meadowlands Pace. 25th anniversary edition, here they come. Forcer out of there as Exporter is being urged on. Extreme outside, I've got life and sun dried. On the rail, cuts the corner. Ledford's got the pedal down there and the whip out around the first turn. It's sun dried. Sun dried to the front. Exporter slides in second. Amer Pan Gigolo got away third. Oaks Enforcer going up fourth on the outside. I've got life is fifth to the quarter mile. Real Desire is sixth at this point. Gambler's Dream is seventh. Full of fun is eighth. He's all that is nine out there, wheeling by three lengths, 25 and four. Amazing opening quarter mile for the long shot here. Sundrod at 18 to one. Ledford trying to rein him in and throttle the speed here. Exporter second. Here comes I've Got Life on the outside third. Ameripan Gigolo is fourth. Real Desire starts up fifth on the outside. He's advancing steadily with Gambler's Dream in the outer flow, going up there full of fun. Then it's Oaks Enforcer dropping back, and he's all that at the half. I've got life in 53 and 4, and they are smoking. I've got life, and Miller takes over. Sun Dried now back in second. Real Desire left uncovered, continues to inch his way up. Gambler's Dream following his cover, fourth on the outside. Exporter begins to gap on the rail. Full of fun, looks full of pace. He's third over and following the cover. Off the cones comes Ameripan Gigolo trying to rally into it. Here comes Real Desire first up, and he pounces on uh, I've Got Life, three quarters, 121 and three, and Real Desire starts to draw clear here. It's Real Desire on the far outside, full of fun, reaching up into second. Gambler's Dream is full out third to the wire. Real Desire has shown up here at the Big M. It is Real Desire. He is home in 149 and four. Full of fun was second, Amer Penn, Gigolo third. Number three, Real Desire, three-year-old Bay Colt by Life Sign, out of Deadly Desire by Troublemaker, owned by the Brittany Farms. Robert Burgess, Peretti Farms, and Kay Olson Burgess. Blair Burgess, Mr. One, Two, Three, in the Meadowlands Pace. The trainer and John Campbell with his second pace elimination victory tonight. The mile was 149 and four-fifths eclipsing his own personal mark by a full second here at the Big M tonight and vaulting over a half million dollars in career earnings. The fastest two-year-old of 2000 setting a world record of 150 and four at Lexington's Red Mile, rated number one in the experimentals. And as we mentioned, trainer Blair Burgess has had a one, two, three finish in the Meadowlands pace. winning the 1987 Meadowlands Pace with Frugal Gourmet. Coming off that sizzling qualifier of 150 and four, the fastest qualifier of the year in 149 and four, season's best for a three-year-old. And in just a few moments, we'll be going down trackside to the winner's circle. Congratulations to the winning connections as uh, Full of Fun finishes second here, and Jim Campbell, Arlene and Jules Siegel qualify a, another one for the final. Ameripan Gigolo finishes third, and we'll catch his individual time. Bob Hayden with the winning connections. In the winner circle with John Campbell and trainer Blair Burgess. John, last week he qualified Real Desire. He was super. Tell us about the qualifier first. Well, he seemed, seemed real good. He came a real strong back half. I mean, qualifying is different than racing, and, you know, the fractions were soft the first part of it. But he, he responded real well and, and kicked home the stronger the wire, and I was, you know, quite impressed with him. Tonight they went pretty good, good up front here, 25 and 4, 53 and 4 and a half. Tell us about where you were at that point, what you were thinking. Well, I got away 6th uh, or 7th. Uh, I didn't hurry him out of the gate, to, you know, especially the fraction so fast. And uh, I followed uh, cover, but uh, we were going so much it wasn't that good to him. But, you know, he, he ended up first over and ended up parked most of the mile. But wasn't used till the head of the stretch and, and when I kicked the plugs out of him and, and asked him to go on he responded very well. You raced against him last year quite a bit. Do you notice the difference between him last year and now? Oh, he's still fast. Couldn't beat him last year at all when I raced against him and you know he's, he's very fast and, and still got his high speed. Okay John Campbell good luck with real desire if you choose him in the final. Blair Burgess the fastest three-year-old of last year is now the fastest three-year-old of this year. 
But about three weeks ago, I don't think anybody was thinking in terms of that. We think about getting a win. What were you thinking in the North America Cup coming into the race and coming out of that race? Uh, coming into the race, I thought we had a good chance. It just uh, the trip didn't work out, and uh, the horse didn't perform up to standards, obviously, and a lot of people were doubting him, including me. You came back here last week. You qualified. I asked you what you did. You said you didn't train him at all. Just to try to get him happy. What about this week? Same thing. Same deal. He had a really easy week. Um, my wife was down here with him and just jogged him up all through the week, and he's eating a lot better, and he seems to like it here. You had him with Bob Siegelman last week, and they went to a farm. Where'd you go? I didn't take him down to the farm. Left him right on the grounds. Okay. Now, uh, Real Desire, what does this week look like coming into the, uh, into the Meadowlands Pace Final? How's the training going to go? Same thing. Won't change a thing. Can't change anything right now. It uh, seems to be going in the right direction. Did he, is it possible he just needed the first three or four starts to work out the kinks? It, it's possible, but I, I, thought, I thought he form, performed really well. In the eliminations of the cup, he was very good. He was three high in the last turn at Woodbine, and that's tough, and he still was closing hard at the end, and, and I think he was on key there to do well. It's just the trip didn't work out. And his attitude good? His attitude's very good right now. Okay, Blair Burgess, you won this race in 87. You're back this year in 2001. Real desire, one of the horses to beat in the Meadowlands Pace Final.